Hi, um, somebody stole my toolbox out of my vehicle. Yeah, so, uh, in case you couldn't hear from the call, somebody stole something out of my Jeep. I had just bought a toolbox, and I left it in the Jeep. Um, we used it to work on the dune buggy and stuff, and yesterday I took the door off the Jeep uh, to get some work done, and this morning I went out to the Jeep and the toolbox was gone. Um, so that's a problem. So it was this Craftsman toolbox, 121 piece set, and it's awesome, first of all. And it was on sale, like almost, I think it was like 48% off. And so I was like, great, this is great, I need one. So I got one, my dad got one, and like overall it was just a great set. And I was gonna use it in the Jeep for the travels and stuff, cause I want like, you know, a decent toolbox. I don't want like a, just a little socket set, you know? So this has like everything I need. I don't know, it's just scary to think that like it happened here of all places. And so I'm probably gonna start locking the Jeep from now on, but even if I do, like the tailgate's not on or everything. Um, so I really need to get that tailgate fixed. Uh, I just realized how behind you guys are. You don't even know what's going on at this point. Like there's so much stuff that needs done. <laughs> There's no point in staying down about it, so, oh, sorry puppy. Me and puppy Kai are gonna go mudding. <laughs> it rained a lot yesterday, so I got plenty of mud down in Hallsville. What's, what's wrong, puppy? There's plenty of mud down in Hallsville, so we're gonna go to Hallsville real fast and go mudding. I never leave my dog in the car this long, but look how good he was. He's so good. Yeah, you are. Oh, it's so bright. Look at you. Good boy. Good boy. Look at you being a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Huh? I haven't put windshield wiper fluid in this thing since I bought it. But every time I went off road, you get mud all over the windshield and stuff. Well, at least on the Cherokee wood. I don't know if it's going to happen on this, but it's better just to have it just in case. It's lit. There we go. O'Reilly didn't have the lid for the reservoir, and I haven't had one since I bought it. So I got this premium custom made one right here. And you were just the goodest boy, Ty. Look at you being so cute. Yeah. You wanna go get a puppuccino? Can I get a puppuccino, please? Puppuccino, puppuccino. We're gonna go see the people. We're gonna get my coffee and your puppuccino. Is that okay? You want a puppuccino? Kai, you're standing on my back. Can you get off my back, please? Kai, off my back. Up. Oh. Down. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, Would I be able to get a green nub thing? The stopper? Texas. Oh, there's a doggo. Oh, there's two doggos. There's dogs right over there, and Kai's going crazy. Kai, they don't want to play with you. Go. Hang on. We're going to go off road, okay? I mean, they probably want to play, but we can't go play with them. They belong to someone. Uh, no, no, they don't want to play with us, okay? Get down. Kai, no. No, no, no. No, we're not going to play with the dogs, okay? Maybe later. So. Back actually when I was still working, I bought this GoPro. It's the GoPro Hero 8, no, Hero 7, Hero 7 Black. And it's actually a phenomenal little camera. I don't use it enough, mostly because I'm too lazy to set it up. But I'm hoping to start using it a lot more here soon. Like for example, today. <laughs>
Note to self, maybe uh, maybe don't put my camera behind the mud. Yes, I can't complain too much. The GoPro had it much worse. Okay. Well, I cleaned the camera off the best I could, but uh, I'm probably gonna have to find out how to thoroughly clean this thing. It's got sticks of tarry mud everywhere. All right, Kyle, we're gonna figure this out though, because I'm gonna get this video. That's a good pit right there. I already know about this one. You ready for that one, Kai? We gonna tackle that one? Yeah, we are. I'm not as prepared for this video as I wanted to be. I wanted to have, you know, like an inside camera of my reaction and an outside camera, you know, and everything. But uh, I don't have enough. That's why I either have to swap the GoPro out or something. I don't know. Either way, this is what I'm gonna do, though. Yeah, right there. That right there, we're gonna go right through that with my Jeep. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I don't have anyone to pull me out if this doesn't work. So it's gonna work. I'm gonna put that bucket to the side here so I don't get everything ruined. And the camera's got dirty. I don't think I'm gonna film with the camera anymore. Uh, at least not out of the Jeep from a distance. And then, hang on, Kai. Don't jump out. And I'm stuck. Kind of. I'll get out. I'll find a way to get out. But... Oh no! Stinky puppy! How we get out of this one? I also can't describe to you enough how dirty my camera is right now, and considering the fact that this is a Canon 70D on a $100 tripod and everything, like it's not exactly what you want, and I'm using my expensive camping towel to clean everything up, it's probably, oh, gosh, okay. Yeah, it's just, I really need to stop using this camera for this stuff. I mean, I'm out here because I wanted to test it, you know, it's better if this happened here in Longview instead of out when I'm living in my Jeep and don't have anyone to rescue me. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm pretty deep. I really hope this works because I'd really rather not have to call somebody. Ugh. Let's see. All right, some nice Mexican guys drove over and helped pull me out. I only I know very little Spanish, but I knew enough to ask them if they could help me and thank them for helping me. So it worked out. Uh, so when I drove into the pit, I wasn't in four-wheel drive like I thought I was. Um, and because four high wasn't working, I tried to slam it in four low and I don't know why, but it keeps revving, and I think I might have broke something, so that's got me a little scared. Either that, or it's really having trouble getting into transfer case gears. I don't know which, but it's scary. It's making weird noises. So I was trying to find some less problematic trails, and I ran into this guy. I didn't get your name, though. Uh, James. James? So he's got this, whatever this is, this monster of a thing. Yeah. And 
So we drove back to this messed up mud pit and he's gonna try to see if he can go through it. I mean, I mean, I could have, I could have done that. I just didn't want to scare my dog. Is all. I, mean, I could have. This guy's crazy. He said he'll pull me out if I get stuck. So I'm kind of trying to tackle it again because, as of right now, it's my nemesis. That and there's really no other spots to go to. I just need more momentum. Oh yeah, he's. I don't know. You might bottom out again. As long as I make it through. <laughs> uh, My bulldog know me. That's a, that's a rock crack. Sure is. Jeez. That needs to go there, right? Like, <laughs> that is sign against someone. I hope I didn't hit that. I oh, did, it was great. That's what I was Ooh, doing. Ooh, Kai, I don't like that. I don't like that as much. Wouldn't would it be the worst thing I've done, huh, Kai? <laughs> oh, man. Well, nothing went according to plan. My camera looks awful. You can probably see it's all smudgy. That guy was pretty cool, though. Told me this thing about called Gator Run. I guess that's an off-road place I need to go try. But I'm going to go out, see if maybe there's some more mud spots, and I'm going to head home, clean off this camera, wash off the Jeep. Man, I was hoping to hit some really cool trails and have a good time, but one got stuck one time, transfer case is messed, messed up. I don't know if it's just not, it's either not shifting, and I don't know if it's not shifting into four low or if it actually burned up the gear. I really hope it's just the shifter linkage. This thing's all like loose and bad, and I don't know. Hopefully we figure it out, and I'm, it's camera, I need to clean the camera. It's just, it's just a mess. The set looks different. That does look different. That I looks wonder like if it's supposed that to be a bracket there and there's here. supposed to be another bracket. Hmm. It might have not come with that. I don't know if you don't remember if it came with that. It could be wrong, but I don't With how long it's been sitting back here, it's entirely possible it was here and I just lost it, but I don't remember it. Back at Jeff's house again, finally getting the CJ7 full down tailgate put on. Um, after looking at it for a while, I thought I might be able to tackle it myself, but there's a 99% chance I would screw something up, so I figure it's better to have a professional fabricator take a look at it. And I was actually gonna put that in this video, but I think I'm gonna make a separate video just so you can kinda see how to install it. So I'm gonna get back to watching him do this so I can put it in a video.